All right. So, kind of a quick recap. Piping that we took out. Looking good. What do you think, guys? asked about the Winnebago. Um, we do still have it. We would like to continue working on it right now. Um, we just can't justify it as, you know what, money is tight. It's a hard time for a lot of families with the inflation of groceries and just the cost of living in general. The Winnebago, it just takes a lot of money. We don't plan on using it a whole lot for travel. The price of gas is extremely high. And you know what, it just doesn't suit our lifestyle, so we do still plan on working on it. Um, we're definitely not getting rid of it right now. We're sure everyone is wondering about our 1976 Winnebago Indian. The vintage RV we drove out of a field and started to give a new life. The one we cleaned out and gave a new interior. Well, almost. She's still not complete. We painted a lot, and I mean a lot. Replaced interior lights with LED ones. We redesigned the kitchen, installed new water tank and PEX lines, and still have so much more to do. So in our free time, we still plan to work on the Winnebago. From finishing the bathroom, to installing a new kitchen sink, to cleaning up the exterior. She's an expensive and time-consuming hobby that we plan to finish one day.
turn once again. Listen to her run. We got these guys all wired and working. Now I got uh, a nice remote. You can turn your speed up. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day Maybe we should start going through some of the uh, heater and clean it out. It's never actually been uh, cleaned out since we've had it. So let's see what we got. heated shot for winter uh, if for some reason we do have to pull it out we can uh, still kick in the heater and maybe do some work plus it's nice to get this all finished up and everything underneath the bed done well Saturday morning here and I think we're gonna pluck away at the old Winnie here so let's get started. Your shadow stretching on the floor While the sun gets low I got a feeling that the glow deep inside my core Needs to breathe to flow We push it right on through So nice to be able to have a place to store stuff finally we're working on it. Because we have working hard right from the very start. And we get this far. But now it's time for screw something together. Call it a day and celebrate. Once again, the old chair comes out. Let's celebrate. I'd help, but it's funner to watch him struggle. most important part we're gonna have to get uh, a custom water tank probably or find one that's gonna fit to the style of uh, dinette bench that we did some things just go unnoticed <laughs> I mean we knew these were here but we have just never removed them daughter just pointed them out Adding in flooring and getting rid of that ugly brown color and the cleaning it up makes the world of a difference. Yep. Oh, what did he do? What did you do? Just the piece that I was cutting. Oh. Uh, well, start over. No, it's fine. <laughs> I swear, every time I go to talk, he's pounding away. I think he does it on purpose. One more piece. 
and uh, we will still have to do, like I said, the probably the linoleum in the uh, washroom and the trim pieces, but that will be for another day because we want to finish off a few more things before we get into doing the trim and the final touches. We still have to do trim pieces all around the entire RV, so we just figured let's get all the big stuff done and uh, and then we can do all the trim pieces uh, towards the end, kind of uh, finishing touches. The last piece of the puzzle is usually the easiest, however, when doing RV flooring, um, it's usually the hardest piece. That looks good. This guy pulls out. You think it looks nice? Alright guys, today we are going to uh, work on a countertop for our RV and uh, get that installed. So. Alright, so I measured out where my uh, post for my control panel is going to go and it's going to go right through the countertop here. Breezy steps, measure, mix, pour, and now I'm going to pour it off. Come to my table, come to my bed, go easy my hunger, easy my head, bringing me fire, bringing me water, taking me high. Guys, well, today we are going to install our PEX line. Good and tight. All right, so this guy is going to pop right down in here like that. And this one right here will go over to the hot water, and then from the hot water, we'll come out and we'll carry on all the way down to the sink and the shower. Hey now. Honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and move on to the hot water now this so that way I can put some Teflon on here this can thread into the tank and then when I get that nice and tight all I have to do is push the PEX line on to make a connection. It's easy to work with this PEX stuff it's a lot better than that cheap plastic stuff you buy at the RV store. 
All right, guys, today we're going to cut some plywood and build our new bed. So here's the leg that we have uh, that came stock with the uh, Winnebago. So we're gonna reuse that with uh, the three quarter inch plywood that we have. Now that I got uh, the bed and everything done, now I can uh, work on finishing my water lines underneath the sink. Uh, I got the fittings that I need to, uh, to finish them up. Here. Oh, yeah, never finish. That's why I said in the last video, always buy lots of these. <laughs> buy the pack because you end up using quite a few of them. these. These guys will go on to the sink. I'll have to get a new can and paint that black, but when we go to wrap these, at least now I'll have a better idea of the colors we're working with, with the gray. And then, uh, you still have to wait and see what color we do the cushion. Get some trim to trim around it, and that's done. Yeah, so keep plucking away at it, guys, so we'll get her done eventually. It just takes time and money. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us today, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And follow us along on our uh, Vintage RV makeover.